In today's video, I'm gonna do three things. I'm gonna explain why the FCC made a radio like this illegal to manufacture, import, or sell in the US. I'm going to talk about the controversy that those rules made in the amateur radio community. And finally, I'm gonna to try to get this on the air uh, using a local repeater here in the area and try to make a contact with it and try to tell you why it's complete trash. Let's get going. Just a couple things before we start. First, follow me on Instagram. It's at ham radio in action with underscores between the words. At ham radio in action. Secondly, uh, when it comes to the law, just like radio, I'm an amateur. I'm not a lawyer, so I'm reading the FCC rules as I read them. If there's any case laws or subsequent memos or information they've put out and I've missed it, uh, shame on me. But you can correct my ignorance in the comments section. In the United States, the Federal Communication Commission was given the power to regulate the radio spectrum by Congress. In other words, the rules that they make regarding the radio spectrum, it's as if Congress had passed a law and the president had signed it. It carries the weight of law. So when they make rules about little radios like this, it's basically a law. The FCC has set up by rule multiple radio services, including CB, the Family Radio Service, General Mobile Radio Service, Business Radio, and of course, Amateur Radio Service, and they have rules for all those different services. So why did the FCC make a rule where this little walkie-talkie or handheld transceiver is illegal? First, let's look at those rules. Effective September 30th, 2019, no person shall manufacture or import handheld portable radio equipment capable of operating under this subpart, FRS, and any other licensed or licensed by rule services in this chapter, which would include GMRS, CB, amateur radio, uh, basically all of the radio services. The other rule is effective September 30th, 2019, no person shall sell or offer for sale handheld portable radio equipment capable of operating, blah, blah, same, same language. So it covers all the bases. And GMRS has similar rules uh, as this, as do some of the other services where basically the FCC doesn't want FRS radios to operate on CB or ham bands or GMRS, and they don't want GMRS radios to operate on those either. This radio is illegal to sell in the US because not only can it transmit on the 70 centimeter ham band, but it does so by default. Several of the channels are well inside the 70 centimeter band. The rest of the channels are spattered all across 400 megahertz to 500 megahertz, including the satellite portion of 70 centimeter band, outside of the 70 centimeter band, and a couple of the FRS frequencies. But really, uh, there's no rhyme or reason why they programmed the way they did, and it's a mess. People who are buying this radio are unknowingly interfering or transmitting in on frequencies that they technically need a license to transmit on. It's a real shame because these are marketed as walkie talkies or handheld, you know, portable radios. It, not advertised as an amateur radio and certainly no mention of a license required. I know what you're thinking. Look, it's got two watts of power. It's got a junk antenna. What's the harm? Well, the harm is, is if you buy these for your kids and you happen to be within a mile or so of a of a repeater, a 70 centimeter ham repeater, you could cause interference for people to trying to get into that repeater. You could also be interfering with other ham communications without a license. And you could be interfering with satellite work that typically is very low power, very sensitive, and two watts could interfere with it. I see, I get why the FCC made this rule. If you're looking for quality, legal handheld radios to use, or mobile radios to use, head on over to my sponsor, buy2wayradios.com. Not only do they have a great selection of FRS, GMRS, Marine Mobile, amateur radios and business radios to choose from, but they're based here in the US and they have a warehouse here, so they ship most orders same day. They offer great support, including forums where you can get your questions answered. They have licensed hams on staff. And if you clicked on this video, hoping to find a cheap, 
or inexpensive handheld ham radio, well, I recommend this, and it's at their store. This is the TYT THUV88. It's a dual band ham radio, completely legal, uh, and this is my go-to inexpensive porta portable. If you buy this on their site, you can use my code, HRIA, Hotel Radio India Alpha, to get a 5% discount at checkout. That stands for Ham Radio in Action. Use my code. Thank you very much. When the FCC uh, put these rules into place in 2019, it really caused quite a bit of controversy in the amateur radio world because it made one of the most popular and inexpensive handheld ham radios illegal. And that was the Baofeng UV5R. Because the Baofeng could transmit on FRS frequencies, GMRS frequencies, and the ham bands, well, the rules say it's illegal. Now, a lot of people in the community confused illegal to sell with illegal to use. And the FCC helped clarify this with a memo or an interview stating that amateurs still have the ability to make their own equipment and to use whatever equipment they'd like to use as long as it meets the transmission standards and power standards and they use it only within the amateur band. So in other words, hams can use this radio as long as they program it to only operate on the ham bands. You can't, I can't program this into the FRS frequencies and use it like an FRS radio. That's against FCC regulations, but I can use it as a ham radio. But this controversy still goes on today. There's still radios being sold openly that can transmit on multiple radio services. And um, I think it's, you know, the FCC is pretty good at making rules, but enforcement, uh, they're not so great. There are a couple reasons why this Baofeng BFT-1 Mini is absolute trash. And the first is the volume. I'm going to show you low volume setting. And then up one. This is just up one. Up two, up three, up four. Yeah, it goes from minimum volume or mute to maximum volume with nothing in between. Just garbage. The number two reason is the push to talk button. It's so mushy that I can never really tell if I'm pushing it or not. Despite those obstacles, I'm going to try to get this radio on the air and make a contact using a local repeater. K4 BBL, Kilo 4 Bravo Bravo Lima, is anyone around for a quick QSO? All right, so there's the Roger beep. I got into the I got into the repeater. Let's see if anyone responds. K4 BBL, K4 BBL, it's Brian here. Anyone around for a quick QSO? Very quick. K4 BBL, Kilo 4, Bravo Bravo Lima. Anyone around for a quick radio check? All right, let's try a repeater that's a little further away. K4 BBL, K4 BBL, looking for a audio check. Very quick QSO. Nah. There's no Roger beep there. Let's try uh, my clothes repeater. K4 BBL, it's Brian here. Anyone able to give me an audio check on this radio? Quick QSO. That's good, got the Roger beep, so I'm getting into the repeater. How my audio sounds is a whole nother question. K4 BBL, K4 BBL, calling anyone for a quick audio check, quick QSO, anyone around? I'm going to try to go to a little higher place in this park, see if I can't uh, get into the repeater better. This is K4BBL, Brian, looking for an audio check. Audio check, please. If anyone has a minute for a quick QSO, an audio check, I sure would appreciate it. I got up to a spot that's a little higher up. We'll see if it makes any difference. Seems like nobody's monitoring. It's such a nice day out. Probably everyone's outside. Hopefully they're not doing yard work. K4 BBL, this is Brian. Anyone around to give me an audio check on this radio? K4 BBL, looking for an audio check. Anyone around monitoring, listening? Quick QSO, please. K4 BBL, this is Brian. Is anyone around to give me an audio check? Anyone at all, please give me an audio check. K4 BBL, Brian, looking for an audio check. Well, here's what I can do. I can fire up my other radio, monitor. I doubt this thing's gonna overload the front end on my TYT. We'll see. I'm transmitting on the input frequency of the repeater here on the Baofeng Mini and I'm going to monitor on the output frequency of the repeater with this radio. 
I want to get them a little far apart, but let's see if we can get it. I'll hold this one up. This is K4 BBL Brian. K4 BBL Brian. Can anyone give me an audio check? Audio check, please. K4 BBL, looking for an audio check. So you can see I'm coming out of the repeater and it actually sounds okay. I mean, it's not the greatest audio ever, but again, $15 radio. Maybe I can scare someone up on a two meter side to switch over. Let's see. This is K4 BBL. Brian, is anyone around? Anyone around? Looking for a quick QSO, a little help. Absolutely, Brian. The name is George. N4RAK, I'm located in Woodstock. N4, I'm sorry, I didn't get the whole call, but George, thank you so much for coming back to me. I really appreciate it. Do you have access to the UHF side? Can you hit the W4 PMG machine in Roswell? My battery on my HT is too weak to doing that, Brian. The call is N4RAK, Real American Kid or Ripe Atlanta Cutsu, whatever you prefer. N4RAK, I got it that time. Thank you. Yeah, this is Brian K4BBL, and uh, I was just hoping to get an audio check on the UHF side, and uh, the only repeater I can hit is pretty close by here in Roswell. So if your battery's low, I'll let you go, but thank you so much for coming back to me. I appreciate it, George. Absolutely, Brian. Can I get a go, no go on your next video? Well, I can't say for sure, but I may be making it right now. Excellent. <laughs> Good luck with your production. K4 BBL 73 N4 RAK. Thank you. 73 to you, George. Yeah, watch out for it. Uh, N4 RAK K4 BBL. I'm clear. 73 to you. All right, so George couldn't get up on the UHF side, but maybe uh, somebody was listening to our conversation and they can get on the UHF side. Hey, this is Brian, K4BBL. I'm looking for a radio check on the UHF side. If anyone is able to uh, go on the W4PMG machine and help me out, I sure would appreciate it. Two meter repeater. Uh, what frequency is that? Uh, enjoy check. That's the uh, 443.150. 443.150. It's the uh, W4PMG machine in Roswell. Thank you. Yeah, I know I'm getting into it, but uh, I'm looking for an audio report. Hold on one second. Here I go. Thanks. K4 BBL QSY. Kilo 4, Bravo, Bravo Lima. K4 BBL Brian here looking for an audio check. K4 BBL, K4 BBL Brian looking for an audio check, audio check. Any luck hearing me on 443.150? Uh, it's a negative. I guess I'm too far away. I mean, I'm in John Creek. Usually I can hear uh, meters out there, but it must be uh, John Creek on top of a building or something, but I'm not, I'm not picking it up. I apologize for that. NJOKX. Was that NJOKX? Did I get that right in your name? Uh, K4BBL Brian here. Number zero. Alpha Kilo X-ray and zero AKX. Name here is Cho. And zero AKX. Thank you very much, Cho. I appreciate you coming back to me, and I appreciate the try. If anyone else is out there that can um, help me listen in on the uh, W4PMG UHF repeater, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again. Seven three to you, Cho. All right. Good luck. Enjoy AKX on the side. This is harder than it should be. K4 BBL, this is Brian. Anyone able to give me an audio report? Audio report, please. Just a quick QSO, an audio report. I do, but I'm bad at catching call signs. Can you give it to me a little slower? Uh, this is K4 BBL, name's Brian. Delta. 
I heard you over on the North Fulton uh, repeater. Uh, I've got you, but you definitely have some uh, bank and sizzle going on there. November 1, Radio Alpha Delta, I believe. I'm sorry, I still didn't pick it up, but I heard you, uh, the audio report is uh, pretty poor, I'm guessing. And that is Romeo Bravo Delta. Romeo Bravo Delta. And uh, yeah, I've got you about the same, about a 3-4. Uh, I am in Duluth, so I'm not sure uh, where this repeater is. The repeater is in Roswell. I believe it's on the water tower. I could be wrong on that, but it's supposed to be pretty much in downtown Roswell. So yeah, you're you're coming through a bit scratchy as well. I'd give you a three four as well, but I am able to copy everything, but it's just a little scratchy. But it makes sense being you're in Duluth. Well, at least I know I'm getting out with this radio and able to be understood, so I guess that's something. And the repeater's like three miles away from me, so not terrible. I'm only running two watts. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I got a feeling that uh, the bacon uh, frying is uh, me receiving the repeater, so you're probably hitting the repeater, okay? I can definitely understand you. Okay, thanks. N N1 uh, RBD, I didn't catch the name. I didn't catch your name. Uh, I got the call, but I didn't catch your name. Uh, Roger, that handle here is Richard. All right, Richard. Well, the cracky sound could also be because I'm on the cheapest radio in the market. It's a $15 radio, so I don't expect too much from it. But at least you can kind of understand me, so, you know, I wouldn't recommend it, but here it is. Yeah, this is even smaller. This is the Baofeng Mini. It's the BFT one. I can't recommend it. It's pretty much trash, but I just wanted to show that uh, I could get it on the air. Seven three to you, Richard. N one R B D K four B B L. I'm clear. Thanks again. All right. So I can't recommend this radio in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I certainly can't recommend it for families looking for a uh, F R S radio. Uh, but as a ham radio, it's terrible. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. All that normal YouTube stuff. And uh, this is Brian K four B B L, and I'm clear. Seven three.